Hey guys, this is Pat from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And I wanted to just share with you a couple of little items that I found at garage sales the last few times that we went out. So about the last maybe month. Uh, here's a collection of goodies that I acquired doing my, during our uh, weeding through all the baby stuff and uh, clothes and everything else that uh, most guys don't like to... Uh, paw through <laughs> but uh, so anyway just wanted to show you a few tools that I picked up along the way a few camping supplies the one of the garage sales that we went to Heidi and I got a handful of stuff um, she got a bunch of goodies and I got a couple of little um, little bar clamps here and the, these little bar clamps are all seized up and the guy says ah just go ahead and ah, 75 cents for everything you know and so we quickly gave him 75 cents and went on our way. And these bar clamps here, uh, this is a little Jorgensen, and it, you know, both of the clamps that I just showed you, these were all froze up. These, uh, the little grips here were froze up and wouldn't move. And so I brought it home, and you can see here where I warmed this up, and I got some video footage of me replacing this handle because I had to destroy this handle in order to get get this back to being uh, in a workable condition again. Um, and the reason I said I had to destroy the handles because I had to put vice grips on here and used heat, liquid wrench, and a little bit of persuasion to get that off. But in order to do that, I destroyed the handle. I could have put a grip on here uh, on the threads and I could have probably saved the handle but I didn't want to affect the integrity of the of this uh, of the screw portion of this type of clamp here. And if you guys aren't familiar with this clamp, this is just a bar clamp, uh, and it runs back and forth. Like you put your material in here, you put this in, you tighten this up, and it holds really well. And so it's got a full length of you know what is that? Maybe two feet, and it works as good as new. Not as pretty as new, but very functional. Around here in rain country, everything rusts anyway, <laughs> so we don't uh, get too carried. We don't get too uh, excited about rusty or keeping tools uh, rust, rust off of our tools too bad. Uh, and, and you know, we just want them to be functional. And here's that other little uh, clamp here. It was in the same condition as the Jorgensen. This is just an off-brand uh, bar clamp, and so. I got that working great again. We went to another garage sale and I got this nice little uh, day pack here. It's a Camelback uh, backpack. And if you guys have ever priced out these little Camelback backpacks, you'll find out that uh, this was a pretty good find at a dollar. And so uh, I believe it was a dollar we paid for this, wasn't it, Mama? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, paid a dollar for this. And not only did we get the backpack, we got a brand new bladder for it. If you guys have ever priced out these little bladders, um, you'll find out that a dollar for a whole pack is a real bargain. So, you know, most people, they buy this stuff, they have good intentions on using it, and they never do. So, uh, they just end up selling it in a garage sale. And here is, you know, a proof that it's never been used is because the mouthpiece where you you run this through the back, you run this through the pack, and you can actually suck the water out of it. This actually has still got the wrapping on the on the valve. So, anyway, uh, thought that was a pretty good find for a dollar. Pack's got a bunch of little pockets on the outside of it for different gear that you can put in here. Um, nice little pack. It's got padded. It's got a padded shoulder shoulder harness on it. And again, that's just, it's just a little quick pack for a day, day hikes or something like that, and to stay hydrated. We also got this little, uh, this little, it's really actually kind of hot because it's been sitting in the sun, and it's, that's what it's designed to do. But it's a real nice, never been used, uh, cap shower. You fill this full of water, you set it in the sun, and not in too awful short order, you have hot water for a shower or wash dishes with or whatever you want. The, hotter, the water gets really hot in these things. So very handy little lightweight 
uh, convenience thing. That might so. be something to incorporate into your into your preparations. And we got the instructions with it, just in case you don't know how to operate it. <laughs> it shows you how to run the valve. <laughs> okay, in another garage sale we went to, um, I got this little propane lantern, this little camp lantern. Uh, I've already tested it. Um, it works great. As you can see, I broke the uh, element in it already. I bumped it <laughs> and broke the element. Um, actually, to be honest, I, I put the wrong size element in there, um, and it was working fine, but I did, I did bump, the, I bumped this over, and I'm surprised it didn't break the globe on it, but uh, it, I tested it. It runs real well, um, bright. So we got another little camp lantern, and this last weekend, what kind of put me over the top to uh, produce this video for you um, is I got some more of these little uh, pipe clamps. These are in really good shape. You know, the guy had them in a heated shop, it looks like. And I got four of these nice little clamps. I got various sizes of C-clamps here. These are actually aluminum. Of course, this part steel. But these look, work great for metal working. I got three of these five inch C-clamps. They're rusty, but they're still in great operating, uh, great operating condition. I just need to maybe put a little bit of oil on them or something like that just to just to keep the rust off of them. I got these little quick clamps, these little bar clamps here. These are little Irwin quick clamps. I don't know if anybody's ever used them. You've probably seen me use these quite a bit in my videos. But uh, these work really handy for real quick, uh, real quick clamping on any of your uh, projects that you're, you're working on. You need an extra hand. These act like, act like little extra hands to work with. And I always see stuff like this. Uh, these zip ties here wire. I always pick up wire and always pick up zip ties if I see zip ties. And uh, these are the extra long black ones so you can cut them off to any length you want. So these are actually really nice to have on, in, a, in, in your backpack or go bag um, and have around the house or farm. So uh, zip ties are, are one of those must needs on a, on a homestead. I also picked up this little This little bench grinder. It's a pretty nice little grinder. It doesn't look like it's uh, got a whole lot of use on it. Um, it looks like a little older one. It's a um, half horsepower. So a lot of them you see might be like a third or a horsepower or whatever. But uh, you know the the wheels on there still look like they're fairly new so I don't know it's got much use on it unless they just put new new grinder wheels on it so, and I also got these little these little magnets they are really strong magnets and you can use these for all kinds of things for uh, put pinning things on your refrigerator notes on your refrigerator or um, I've actually seen people use these and sew them into flaps on pockets uh, they work really nice for that. We actually have some nice rain gear, some high-end rain gear that actually incorporate these types of buttons into um, securing flaps. And you don't need Velcro, they're really quiet, and they work really well for securing um, pockets. These are more clamps. These are used for um, squaring corners and clamping corners. Uh, when you're building picture frames or anything like that, this is just one type of a clamp. Um, so I just picked those up. You know, the guy threw all that stuff in there for uh, little to no money. And uh, I also got some brand new um, industrial quality Irwin speed 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 bores. And uh, you know, these are these are great for making fast holes, uh, like in walls for running wire or whatever. 
These are used for picking up. They're flexible. They're used for maybe like grabbing a wire that's down low. Let's say you're wiring, doing some wiring in your pickup or car or whatever like that, and you want to reach down and you want to grab a wire with it and pull it back up uh, through the, uh, you know, around firewalls and different things. Uh, you lose a bolt, you can use this for picking up bolts. I also have some magnetic type uh, grabbers for picking up bolts that you might drop because I got butterfingers. So I picked this up for pert near nothing, looks like brand new. And I picked up a couple of bed rails here in a free pile. And uh, we have, we I collect bed rails for the angle iron in them. They actually got a really good angle iron. And I use that for different projects. Um, I don't know, Heidi might uh, be able to link ab above where I show how to make a drying rack. I make drying racks and all kinds of different things out of angle iron. So I grab these um, bed rails every time I see them, uh, whenever they're either a dollar or free or whatever. Here's a couple more b longer bar clamps that I got. These are three foot bar clamps. And then I got some pipe clamps here. These are six foot pipe clamps. Those are Irwin's. They're real nice clamps. I got some Jorgensen bar clamps and then I got some Pony pipe clamps. The nice thing about pipe clamps is you can get any size pipe or any length of pipe. These are obviously one inch. Um, and you can get these however long you want to make them and for for long projects or you can also use the same clamps for shorter pipes in case you uh, just need short pipes uh, the other things I wanted to show you here is I got these uh, saw guides here um, these are really they got three different sizes that's a four footer I got a three footer and then I got a two footer over here. So you take this clamp here loose and you can move it around. And then you use this here to move it back and forth. These ones to pull back and these ones to pull back towards your work. It's kind of hard to do this one handed. There we go. You get this into position, you take the slack out with the handle up like this, and then you move that ahead to meet the back side of the uh, piece of plywood. And then you go back over here and you flip this down, making sure it's square. So then when you get all the slack pulled out of, out of that end, and you have this handle up, you just Tighten the handle down like that and it makes this secure and then what you can do is you can run your saw you know on the prescribed point where you want to cut and you can make a nice straight cut you know like a table saw guide so that works great for that so I got three different sizes of those those uh, those can come in handy picked up this ripstop poncho for a dollar at a garage sale. This is like brand new. It's got the grommets in the corners for tying down for shelters. This is our army issue. Um, that I had one just like this in the service when I was in the service. These aren't just for just for ponchos for wearing. They also can cover any equipment you might have. They can serve as a shelter. Also has has snaps where you can you can connect two ponchos together. To make a larger rain shelter. Well, the last thing I wanted to show you was this little uh, nightstand here that I picked up for my dad. Um, I got it and had a few little scratches and whatnot on it, and I just took some Danish oil and wiped on it yesterday. It's in perfect working order. Just uh, you know, it's just uh, got a few years on it. But uh, putting that Danish oil on it really cleaned it up and brought, brought it back a few more years. So anyways, he'll be happy with that. 
I picked that up for ten dollars. Now we got our mascot over here. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to show you a couple items that we picked up uh, over last month. Um, I'm sure that there's probably more little things that I've uh, picked up that I'm not remembering to tell you all about. But it kind of pays to do a little bit of shopping or be per, you know, be persistent. And you know, if you're one of the guys, or even if you're a lady out there and you want to pick up a few extra tools, um, just keep your ears and eyes open, and uh, you can get some really good deals for a little bit of money, and you don't have to spend a fortune on tools to get tooled up. So, and you know, for your preparations, if you guys uh, are into prepping or um, you know, getting a few things squirreled away for hard times, uh, you can most certainly do that as well. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and like and subscribe. Um, take care, and God bless.